now that MDX has gone live on for ORT on 874, 878 in the Grandi, we're getting a lot of calls from commuters that are saying they've never heard of ORT, that we haven't been out there, we haven't informed anybody. In fact, it's the opposite. As part of a multimedia program that MDX instituted, we've gone out to all the TV and radio stations, we've contacted all the major newspapers, we've done numerous public meetings and outreach to the, all the areas. We've um, put out billboards in, in advance of ORT going live, so we've, we've been proactive in getting the information out there, and we feel that MDX has been um, very ahead of the game in terms of ORT. We recently received some correspondence uh, asking us what authority does MDX have to collect tolls on the roads. Well, basically, we're, these roads have already been toll roads from the, from the moment that they were built. Um, MDX was created so that the revenues collected on these roads stay in the county uh, before these these uh, reven these tolls will, will be collected and they will go to Tallahassee and then they will get distributed around the state. With the creation of MDX, those tolls now stay inside the county. So who is MDX? MD MDX is a state-sanctioned, locally administered public agency. We were created by Florida legislature and also by resolution of the Board of County Commission. We're governed by our MDX board, which is comprised of 13 volunteers who are selected by the governor as well as the Board of County Commission. 